I'm John Madison, your instructor for Music Fundamentals Theory 101. I just want to make sure you're all here for the right reason. This is a required course for music majors, music business and technology if you're in the recording program. It also fulfills the fine art requirement. If you're a musician and wanted to learn a little bit more about music, that's great. If you're not a musician and you wanted to learn a little bit about what goes on in the musician's head, or what at least should go on in the musician's head, then that's great as well as long as you're up for the work. Okay, so the book that we'll be using is Music Fundamentals, A Clear Approach by Dr. D. Gauze. Very easy to find online in the CSN bookstore. Now, I teach this course during the typical spring and fall semesters, and this is the first time I've taught it online. I don't even think the class is offered online. So I'm going to be improvising a little bit as far as the curriculum goes. I'm going to try to make it as easy as possible for you guys in light of everything that's going on. I don't want to make you jump through a bunch of hoops, but I do want you to learn something about music theory and I want you to enjoy the process. Now, as far as the way this class works with your study, it isn't really a typical study strategy that you use in a lot of your classes. It's more of a practice. It's like a math class where you learn concepts, you learn a procedure, and then you do that procedure in repetition. And that's what we'll be doing. You'll be learning the piano keyboard. We'll be leaving the keyboard early on and all the concepts that you'll be learning will be introduced on the music staff that you see behind me. And you'll have a much better view of this when we're doing the lectures. They'll all be videos so that you can watch it at what time is best for you. You can watch them over and over again so that you can really get what's going on with the concepts. When you do your homework assignments, make sure you use a fine tip pencil with a good eraser. You'll make mistakes and then also you'll find in some of the procedures that you'll need to remove things or make adjustments that involve erasing. So make sure you have a good eraser that doesn't smudge. The textbook is definitely required because the homework assignments are in the book. It's a text workbook. And I'll be grading very heavily on the homework. I'll also be putting homework up on Canvas and also be giving homework assignments in the videos. So make sure you watch the videos from beginning to end so that you don't miss anything. Now, what you want to also acquire is some staff paper like this and practice drawing the notes and symbols that are needed so that you develop a good penmanship to do the work. And then also the print on the homework pages in the book, they're a little small. So what you want to do is maybe if you can enlarge it a little bit, but um, make sure you use pencil. Okay. All right. I want you to just go ahead and enjoy what we're doing here and go ahead and read the syllabus. It's going to be a very easy process, and hopefully you'll enjoy what you're learning. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time.